Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to The Wolf Among Us for more comic book point and click action. We are right back where we left off, about to go and check out this um, club, I think, isn't it? That we were given a name for last time, and carry on with the story. But first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video, so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Let's do it then. Remember the usual warning as well, this episode could contain scenes which some viewers find upsetting or distressing. So let's go. Ah yeah, that's it, the pudding and pie. I forgot what it was called. Who's that? Oh, Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Uh, I've got some questions for Georgie. I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. Yep. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. Why is the front door locked like I that? I should warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And That's he's tough. in kind of a mood right now. I don't really I don't care. care how he feels about it. Ah, well, you two will get along just swimmingly. We'll see about that. Pretty empty in here. Sorry. <coughs> and pie. Sorry guys, that's cough there. To the diverse taste of the fable community. Your pleasure. Uh, do you know Lily? Pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here. Oh, my lips are sealed. You'd better ask Dorothy. Oh, that line again. You're supposed okay, it's to talk to him. Hey. Oh, it's you. We closed. You Georgie. Brilliant deduction, Sheriff. What do you want then? You here for a little tip or uh, uh no, I've got some questions. Probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that. <laughs> Just stopped in for the chips then. Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Do you? Are you sure? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamour. Of course he was, you dap git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamour to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all it's kinds illegal. of things when nobody's watching. You know, it's illegal to impersonate another fable. It's frowned on. It's illegal as long as I don't like it. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. It's strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This guy's a exactly bit of a dick, isn't he? Thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Show him the glamour box, you I guess. Something, you know. Nothing to back it up? Well, what the fuck is this, then? Get that out of my face. I found it on Lily's body, and it's definitely a back alley job. Where did she get it? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Big B. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me?
turn it off. You're gonna hit me. Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came Who hired here, her? Right? One more time. Who hired her? <laughs> oh no, fuck! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's yep. Sake. Fuck off, hands. Hey. Hey. Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. Well, we'll see. I cover my eyes and take my coat. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron. Show me. <laughs> there is no book. And as for you, Hans, yes, there is. we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <clears throat> Tell me about the book. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Well, tell me then. Hey, now. I want that book. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Just tell me where it is. Look, We're not going to smash stuff up unless we have to. Tell me where the book is. Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. I think we might have to break something do in a minute. Touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. What's down here? Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you we'll come see. on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. People are dead, man. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. Now destroy it. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Ah, <laughs> he caved. Thought you didn't have a key for that. Bloody come on, then. Prick. <laughs> Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. We'll see. What's in this little book? Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear, I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. You don't Secrecy say. Secrecy how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What? 207. Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. 
They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. If you say so, now, what's through that I've door? Had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me <coughs> while I call the superiors to make a complaint. I mean, I'm going through this door, so you go ahead. Hello, business office. What's in here, man? Oh, what's all this? Cosmetics. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. By the way, I had to cut some stuff out um, when we first entered and talked to Georgie because there was um, Faith, some stuff I couldn't put on YouTube, so. Let's if you're wondering what was going on, that's why. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Who was the client? That could be our killer. Nothing else in the cubby. What's this one? It's quite a lot in Faith's one. Has that been busted open? Lock's been busted open. What about this makeup case? That one looks like it's been busted open as well. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. That's weird. Uh, okay, let's go this way then. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Yeah. Um. I didn't have I a reason didn't have to be a reason really. to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid? Once upon a time. Are the legs a glamour? You have legs. Not a glamour? No, they're real. Do you like them? They cost me a lot. Huh. Should pay for them then, I My guess. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa. Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Uh, who's Mr. Smith? I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients, calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean, can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. I keep saying That's that. How things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Oh, I see. Um, what are you suggesting? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. So we'll meet in that place, and then we'll be able to have a look around. I'm guessing. I need a hundred and fifty. It's not good to be short. Hundred and fifty. Oh, well, we'll just pay it. <laughs> May as well. We got the money. It will help her out, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so I'm guessing she'll tell us where to meet her. And that'll be the place where Mr. Smith met with um, Lily. And possibly Faith as well. Ah, 204. The 207 is the one... Where Lily was. The open arms. Open arms. Two o four. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. 
Thank you. Okay, there we go. That is the end of chapter four of episode two. Wow, it's really getting interesting now, isn't it? So we finally found out how to get to the place where Lily was with this Mr. Smith. And maybe we'll be able to uncover some of the truths now. Because we're still pretty in the dark with everything. Um, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.